Imagine being able to alter the chemistry of our brains. Imagine a pill that improves memory, that increases intelligence. Imagine a new mind for a new age. Science fiction? Possibly. I think what we're going to see in the 90s is better living through chemistry. These smart drugs are going to be so sophisticated that they're going to be able to alter our intelligence very specifically. Basically, what you're doing is you're increasing your creativity by taking a pill. You know, you can talk about a few things. You know, sex seems to get people's uh, attention, but I'll tell you, as soon as you start talking smart drugs, everybody's like across the table, and they're like, what, really, what? You know, and they're like, their antenna go, that goes up, and people seem to really want this kind of stuff. A new class of drug has arrived in Britain, known as smart drugs or cognitive enhancers. They're not like other mind-altering compounds. Users claim they boost memory and intelligence without causing harmful side effects. Taking them is not illegal. Buying them without prescription is. They aren't available over the counter in this country, so they're being brought in directly from European pharmacies. But then, the self-experimenters still have to find out how to get smarter. Good evening, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Evolution Play Shop 3. We're very pleased to welcome Mark Healy, who's going to give us a wrap on smart drugs, mind foods, and life extension. Hello. Um, the first thing I'd like to make clear is that I'm speaking as an uh, interested participant rather than a medical authority or scientist in this subject. So I think the first thing I'm going to have to come clean about is the uh, smart drugs that I've been taking so that I can prepare for this lecture and the smart drugs that I'm on now. Uh, to improve my concentration for the period of a, a week before the lecture, I've been taking a, a drug called Dilantin in very small doses. And this has a, a remarkable effect in, in producing like sustained periods of concentration. Um, I've also been taking a drug called Hydrogen for intelligence increase. And I've recently been taking some Vasopressin, which is a neurohormone, which helps you imprint memory so I can remember all these scientific names. Now, um, I'll be explaining each of these as I come to them, but all I want to say now is that I think that uh, smart drugs are going to form an absolutely integral part of a scientific and medical revolution that's about to um, emerge in our culture. Now, I'm into having a, uh, an optimal life. I'd like my brain to work as uh, optimum and function at its peak performance and be unstoppable. I want my body at its peak performance and be unstoppable and, and optimal. And I believe the brain-body connection is a must. The body is an extension of the mind. And uh, as a man thinketh, so is he. And by thinking brighter thoughts, and I think I can live a happier, uh, more positive, and definitely more productive life. I... Uh, I was looking for total recall, basically, so I could pass my exams. Uh, I was a, a pre-med student, uh, which is uh, a pre-chiropractic student, similar to being an osteopathic student in England. And uh, school was tough, it was rigorous, and it was demanding, and I was looking for any possible edge that I could have. It, uh, it was also competitive, and smart drugs were there, and the knowledge of them was there. Increase your brain power and improve your memory, concentration and ability to learn. Perform better in schools and tests or on the job. Lectures and books are publicizing smart drugs in Britain, but what are they? They are actually existing prescription medicines developed for a host of different illnesses, from diabetes to dementias. But now they're being hijacked by amateur scientists, using them in new and unlicensed ways to try and boost their brain power. Your exams, are they important ones? Yeah, they are important. I mean... I want to be a geophysicist. Um, you might try giving her pure sedum in combination with hydrogen in low doses. Um, what I'd suggest is that, in general, you try a number of different things and a number of different combinations with her. Yeah. Some people, when they hear the phrase smart drugs, they think they're, that the drugs themselves are smart or that the drugs have been designed in an intelligent way. But... Uh, Smart drugs are drugs or nutrients or herbs or vitamins that have the known property of improving your memory and increasing your intelligence. I'd say that in America, there's probably a good 100,000 people or so 
that are normal, healthy individuals using smart drugs on a daily basis. I feel great. It's almost like you take your computer with a 286 chip and you upgrade and put a 386 chip in it. Depranil, diopid vasopressin, hydrogen, uh, L-dopa, you know, this is in the movie, so some of my friends, this is propranolol, and uh, this is uh, paracetam in a Spanish uh, name box. So this is like my little box. I take maybe a third of these things on a regular basis. The people I've met and talked to who are doing smart drugs are pretty average, sort of just normal, non-drug abusing type people. Now it gives me great pleasure and is a great honor to introduce to you Mrs. Bush. Thank you very much, Dr. Thayer. I came to tell you how glad and proud I am that George has signed the proclamation designating the 1990s as the decade of the brain and to tell you how much we both applaud and support what this can mean for the greater health and well-being of all Americans. There's no doubt about it, steroids offer an unfair advantage, and uh, smart drugs too. I mean, they increase your own biochemistry to be at a more maximum level. Uh, and this is an issue. I mean, uh, is this what God really wants from us? Are we to just completely be who we are uh, before him and just be obedient? Or is he allowed these uh, things such as smart drugs that we can be even better? Um, I think it's a major issue, and I think... Uh, it's one that everybody's got to search their heart and get on their knees before God and make a correct decision. I mean, my nerve cells might be growing. I can't really tell that. And my reaction, my reaction times may be speeding up because I've not had access to the computer. I've not been able to test that lately. The 90s are certainly the decade of the brain, and I think that the mind pills are clearly coming, whether we like them or not, because of the huge investment the drug companies have got in them at the moment. This search for a biological fix, for a pill which will solve everything, whether it's a pill to build your muscles rather than exercise, or it's a pill to build your brain because you feel your brain is damaged by your environment, the thrust to do that is enormously powerful. It's very compelling if you believe that these drugs enhance your uh, concentration and memory, that you will take them for life. And of course, this is why there are many pharmaceutical companies who would wish you to start taking them. Um, if you can perform better in your school by using drug X, uh, then this means you've probably got to take drug X for the rest of your life. Andy, what's your memory like? Oh, there is. Okay. Um, there's room for improvement. Is that last you to say? If you'd like a complete copy of the script for that Horizon program, please send a cheque for £2 made payable to BSS to Horizon Food for Thought, P.O. Box 7, London W3, 6XJ.